Hey all you drunks out there, I'm Axel, this is DB. What's up? We're coming to you from the VIP lounge of Sunny's Pub in Southwest Florida with the big season finale of Beer or Bust, the show where we normally drink a six pack and rate it in five different categories for you. But today we've got something entirely new. For Absolutely you. new. This is something that's never been attempted before to the best of our knowledge, never been filmed before, never been documented. Welcome YouTube. We're breaking new grounds here today. You guys should be very excited to be a part of this voyage. We might not make it through the other side. Never know. Tell them what we've got in store for ourselves today, DB. We're going to mix every single entire beer from the entire season into one container, mix them together, and then drink them for you. How does that sound? How does, does that sound that like a sound? good idea? It sounds like an awesome idea. Well, That's what I call one hell of a microbrew. Exactly. It's the Sunny's Pub Original Microbrew. Yes. Season one of Beer or Bust. Coming straight to you. Two brothers, Prairie Path Golden Ale. New Belgium, Voodoo Ranger. Blue Point Lager. Toasted Lager. Sweetwater 420. Elysian Space Dust. Stone, Gargoyle IPA. Lagunita, something, something, egg. Sweet Baby Jesus. Chocolate peanut butter. Funky Buddha. Hot dog. And now the spoon. Mix it up good. Try to make it one solid color instead of a multi. You like that guy in cocktail. You mean Tom Cruise? That dude? No, Michael King. What? Who's that? I do. Mm. It's got a large, large head. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of foam. Hopefully that will die down as we pour. So as we lock the concoction inside of its cavern. It's sealed. It's we'll sealed. turn it back now. Why are you drinking out of a boot? This is my favorite Monopoly piece. You have I never see. played a game of Monopoly in your Come life. Come on, I've always played Monopoly. Tell me one rule for Monopoly and I'll believe that you've played it. You get to eat the little green and red houses. That's, yeah, okay. You don't know how to play this game. You wouldn't eat a house in real life. Why would you eat a house in a game? It's fantasy based. Fantasy for people who fantasize about eating their houses? All right, you drink out of your shoe. I got my man Homer Simpson here. What are we doing? We can't possibly go by label, because label today is a glass container. It's pouring nicely. It's got a great it's golden got, hue. It's got a big head inside the jug, but Going into the bottle, not bad. Sweet. Might as well make them big. All right, let me see where I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to hang them. I think yours is, thin, yours is thinner, too. Yeah, so you got to go higher. Cankle. Okay. So you'll notice this season we only had two busts. And to be perfectly honest, the 420 wasn't that bad. I think it was kind of on the cusp. But man, that sweet baby Jesus peanut butter chocolate, that was the worst thing I think I've ever drank. Mm -hmm. I didn't even attempt the chuckability challenge, so it's going to be interesting. Woo! That's a big, big, big beer. This is going to have to be for all of them, because that's pretty, that's way bigger than every beer, isn't it? I don't know how much. Oh, that's, yeah, this is two full beers right there. You can fold two, bo yeah, two bottles of beer in there. Yeah, but we put nine beers in there and almost have half of it going. Yeah, so that's four beers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Season one finale of Beer or Bust. Never attempted the all beer challenge. First time in history, breaking grounds. Here we go. Suck my dick. Shit. Is it just me, or is that not all that bad? It's not all that bad, but man, I mean, it tastes it, like multiple types yeah, of it's, burnt wood. <laughs> this is gonna get weird. Yeah. But, oh, but the first sip, boy. like I was, I was expecting to be like, oh, this was a mistake, but no, this um, it's almost this like, might work. It's <laughs> almost like the peanut butter is attacking the orange flavor. Let's just do something. Let's not talk about the peanut butter for a while because I don't want to think about it. But yeah, like it, it mixes in with all the other stuff pretty nicely. Um, like by itself, it was very overwhelming, but mixed in just as one ninth of the drink, 
it does kind of have a good flavor, but I, I think the more I drink of it, the more it's going to make me sick. So. It is like trash. Always so uh, negative. You never have anything good to say about anything. Woo! We do have paramedics standing by. They're you know, at their paramedic station yeah. or wherever they start yeah. off. Wherever you two they're, they're a again. phone call away. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Wow, I don't know what I was so afraid of, actually. I was dreading this for, like, weeks when we came up with the idea. I think I might make it. I might like it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, so as you guys know, normally this show we only drink three beers apiece, but since we're splitting nine, that's four and a half, so we're up in our game, we're up in the challenge. We're hoping you're going to be up in your game. Try mixing all these beers together and taking a sip of this shit. Should we recommend our viewers be doing things like oh, that? We might get some true. lawsuits on that's our hands. True. You've got to be Take a trained professional to yes. do this. Take that back. Nobody attempt this at home. Do the fact that it tastes like garbage. I'm going to take a different approach and say that this is a good one to try. This is, uh, it's pretty impressive that it's not making me gag. It's pretty flavorful. I kind of like it so I far. But I don't want to glamorize it for the youth. So just know that this is so good and so cool and you don't even need to try it. Exactly. Just let the cool people drink the stuff and we'll handle it for you. Yeah, man, I, can, I, I feel like I could slam this. This is, it, it's way rough. worse than yours. Like, there's no way. I am not. Maybe because I poured first, right? So maybe I got what was at the bottom. Maybe the farther you go up, like the, the uh, different flavors float to the top. I don't know. Maybe each glass that pours is a different, different pour. Because mine looks like, ruby red and it's bubbling and it's still. Look, there's literally bubbles sticking to the bottom of the boot. It's not even going nowhere. All right, so let's recap each beer individually. First on the list was Two Brothers, Prairie Path Golden Ale. Now let's talk about the label. If you notice, it's different than when we premiered. Right? Remember exactly. I was complaining about the... Uh, the hue of blue. The baby blue and the uh, puke yellow. I feel like the color scheme could be a little bit better. I don't know about the uh, puke yellow and the baby blue. That's right, and they listened to they us. They heard and they, they made a change. They made a change. And I appreciate that. So I'm going to up your label rating to exactly. a 5 out of 5. Exactly. Now, this beer wasn't that bad in taste, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. If we yeah, we were talking about how it was crafted to remove gluten. and thought that that exactly. might make it taste weird. But yeah, I mean, it was maybe a little bit bland, but it wasn't bad. No, 5.1. 5.1. Alcohol percentage. Yeah, not, not that bad, not too strong. Yep. And overall, we rated it a beer to drink. Yep, beer to drink. All right, then episode two was Voodoo Ranger. And this was a label that we absolutely loved. I mean, awesome. look at that guy. He's a freaking badass. Yeah, mushroom on the cap. It's yep. totally awesome. 7% alcohol volume. Great taste. Good price. Awesome label. Dude's here to kick ass, take names, and drink some beers. This dude would definitely do this multi-beer challenge. Yeah, he, was a, he was a beer to drink. Yep, absolutely a beer to drink. Blue Point Lager. Now, this is a great lager. beer to drink. Blue Point Toasted Lager. Why do you keep saying toasted? So it's, no. Just take my word. Okay. 5.5 .5 in volume of alcohol. Absolute great beer to drink. It was a little bit take salty. This out. Oh, that's true. Yeah, remember it was a little, a little bit, bit salty, salty, but it was good. It wasn't bad. It was a little salty. It almost made you feel like you were at the beach. We said this was the one with the Jaws. Yeah. They put yeah. Jaws as a little fin on top of it or have like a season of Jaws or Sharks or something. That would be cool. And we followed the coordinates on the map to discover the location of the buoy. The buoy. It was the buoy. Sweetwater 420. You know, you see a beer called 420. That catches your attention for a multitude of reasons. You start wondering, is there CBD oil in there? What would they make this with? They made it with fish. Yeah, like fish, not even like fish eggs, fish shit. Yeah, it's fish. Yep. We did not like this beer. We rated this one a bust. Mm. Elysion Space Dust. This, on the other hand, will literally take you to space. I think this is pretty much the strongest beer we had on the entire, entire, entire season. 8.2% alcohol. Yep. Elysian Space Dust. We rated this a beer to drink due to the fact that of its high nature of getting you ripped as soon as possible. And I think it's safe to say now, at this point, we, we didn't let you guys in on the secret at the time, but 
we were actually already drunk going into that episode. Normally we come in completely oh, fresh. There you go. But uh, DB had a bottle of whiskey that he just found. Yeah. Somebody just left it on the street corner. Wine in a can turned into something else. Yeah, Sorry, that wasn't exactly wine in that can, and we were both drinking from it. So that was the only episode we started drunk. Then we drank the uh, highest alcohol content beer of our season. So That's we were really awesome. hammered that episode. Yeah. Stone Gargoyle IPA. This was another one that we liked the label a lot. Um, we were debating on whether that was a gargoyle or the devil or a demon or something. A ghoul. Gargoyle. It doesn't say anywhere on the bottle, but I think on the box itself it said gargoyle. Or that was, why, that was why we decided that, you know, okay, we'll go with gargoyle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the flavor was good. It was a 6.9%, uh, so that's, that's pretty high too. Not as high as the eight, but um, yeah, we rated this a beer to drink. Beer to drink. Sweet Baby Jesus, on the other hand, this is an absolute bust. This is one of the worst beers I've ever drank. But it's a porter. Maybe I don't like porters. There's people well, out there that like porters. A chocolate peanut butter yeah, porter. A chocolate peanut butter porter. Yeah. 6.2 volume of alcohol. Yeah, but you can't even drink the whole thing. I mean, I couldn't get through it. Absolute bust. I didn't even attempt the chocolate I, challenge. I, I would throw it up. I, Ridiculous. I attempted it. It tasted like garbage. Yeah. Uh, uh. Aguanitas, little something something ale. I like this one a lot. This was a fun beer. Um, I like the label. It's got an old timey, uh, almost prohibition era vibe to it. I made a big deal about how hot that chick was on the uh, label last time. I stand by it. She's got it going on. This is a 7.5 percent alcohol, so that's yeah, it's getting close to that 8.2. Uh, I rated this as a beer to drink. You said it was a bust, even though you gave it all high ratings. Hmm. Ultimately, you decided to say it was a bust because you didn't like the price per value. You didn't think That's it was right. worth the price. That's right. Don't think it was worth the price. In Funky Buddha Hop Gun, this was a beer to drink. Absolutely one of our fun beers, fun moments, fun times. But we didn't win the volleyball game because DB doesn't know how to play defense. Listen. They were all three foot five. I didn't know there were kids playing on the field with us the entire time. That's supposed to make it easier. You're supposed to have an advantage over children. They, they, were, they were fast, vigilant, uncontrollable. That one kid was like a little hedgehog. Yeah, 7.0 alcohol volume. This was our season finale. This was beer number nine, and we rated it a beer to drink. Beer to drink, season finale. Now, on to what we're drinking now. The All Beer Challenge. The All Beer Challenge, and I am not liking it at all. Oh, my gut is burning right now. I don't know what he's crying about. It's not happening with me. I can already see this, me losing this. Yeah, I'm down to the bottom of my label. You barely scratched the surface. Uh-uh. Ugh. I don't even think you could do a checkability, even if you filled more in there and tried it. Oof. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. And I was considering that, too. As we were drinking this first one, that, that was in my mind the whole time. Do we try to chug this for the second beer? No, I'm not going to try to chug this for the first beer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I almost don't. I mean, I don't even know. Like, like, can we cook with it or something? Like, Oh, we could definitely do that. Make one hell of a, uh, like a rum cake or something. A rum cake. A rum ham? Yeah. Beer battered pork. Yeah, beer battered pork. I mean, it's like an amber in color. Like, my descriptions on the beer is like... Yeah, the light hits it nice. I was expecting it to be ugly, but it's actually a pretty handsome looking I beer. I cannot even see you through my beer. That's the sign of a good beer. You like it nice and rich. Ugh. Oh, my God. I'm going to say I still like the flavor, but it's getting harder to sit in the stomach. I feel like they're disagreeing down there. You're going to hang yourself. I... I I'm telling you. It's all right. I snagged Roxy's purse before, so we need a barf bag. We can throw up in her purse. Yep. Yeah. That's my first beer down. And I'd like to be able to do it. I can tell you. I can't. Ugh. Ugh. I still, I, I like the flavor. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting to like how it tastes, but it is getting heavy in my stomach. It's going to be hard drinking more of this. Yeah, I would not either. I'm going to try it, though. Yeah, try. That's why we're here. All right. 
what am I tasting the most of? Like, okay. What I'm doing right now is I'm just like sitting and, and savoring it. Because I was just kind of putting it down real quick. The flavor on your mouth is fine, but yeah, now that it's in my stomach and I'm like getting that aftertaste Do of it. Trash them flavor. I, like I think I, I taste the Elysian a lot because that was a very bitter distinct. Yeah. Um, I definitely can feel the sweet Peanut baby butter. Jesus. Ah, yeah, I feel that right good. in the pit. That's not doing too well. Um, and I think I got a lot of the hop gun. Uh, and mine's still bubbling from the bottom where the bubbles are stuck. Like, that's the peanut butter, sweet baby Jesus. Oof. All right, I'm going to start pouring my second beer and see how... Ugh. I'm sorry, am I boring you, DB? <laughs> it's so gross. I'm making history over here, sir. It's so gross that it's making me yawn. Oh, no. Ugh. Maybe the booze is the fucking... Oh, are you regretting drinking out of footwear now? You want to heed my uh, advice next time? I told the girl to stop putting her foot inside the shoe. You found a little Cinderella? Actually, yes. Now, chuggability contest. You're not even through your first beer. I'm definitely oh. not through my second. We got more in the batch here. Uh, uh, I think we've seen some dogs on the weekend. I think your problem is is that you're sipping it. If you try and sip it, you know, it's, it's not Ooh. that type of thing. It's not a fine liqueur. You gotta just get that shit down. Because once it's in your system, it's almost like riot punch. It just gives you the strength to carry on. Oh, oh my god, no. Oh, did it. Like, I want to eat french fries. I mean, something's gotta help with this. Ooh, no, I don't want to eat anything right now. But I did eat before we started the show. Normally, uh, I don't. I'm normally on an empty tank, so that's another fact. I didn't eat this one. I had some burgers, dogs, and fries. Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. All right, guys, so this is not only our season one finale of Beer or Bus. This is also our one-year anniversary of our move to Florida from Philly. That's right. Um, so far, we've been able to hunt alligators, poach iguanas, uh, wrestle down snakes, we learned the difference between Mexicans, Cubans, and Puerto Ricans. Yes, yes. We understand that they're different sizes now. We learned that you can never go outside before sunset because you will sweat to death. Yes, the sun is like something that was like we created from a giant flashlight. I mean, we had summers in Philly, but it's nothing like the winter down here. My God, I've never sweat so much. We learned all about red tide the hard yes. way. Yes, we collected food. You collected food. The rest of us had ourselves a little day spa. I always... Oh, that's right. They did wrap their bodies with the seaweed on the ground and realize that it's allergic to their body. Well, yeah, we didn't know the difference between Red Tide and a seaweed bath at a $250 an hour spa. Yeah. Still tastes like trash. Then, Dave, wood, burnt wood. But if you like burnt wood, still tastes like trash. Hey, I'm putting it away, though. Trash or not, it's going down smoke. What the... Ah, oh, I did it wrong. So, I mean, do the Das boot wrong. <laughs> yeah, you get that explosion in your face from the uh, tip of the toe. I did it wrong, so. You gotta mind the tip. You always have to mind the tip. Today, I didn't mind the tip. I'm almost through my second. You haven't even gotten halfway through your first. I'm wearing it more than I'm doing anything. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, but oddly enough, I'm going to say that for me at least, obviously DB's struggling, for me, I would say that each of the beer's positives kind of cancels out each of the beer's negatives. I'm getting bitter, though. It is bitter. It is heavy. I'm not saying it doesn't sit heavy in the stomach, but I'm just saying as far as flavor goes, I was expecting just a whole mess. But really, we're getting the best out of everything, I think. Except for the, the bitter. I don't know. I'm about to put away my second one. I can't believe it. The third one, he has to chug. If you finish your second one and you're ready to chug uh, with me, I'll chug. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it through this. <laughs> I'm done with you not chugging. <laughs> I, it's, it's bad. Oh, my gosh. Oh. No. Uh -uh. I hope you guys appreciate what we're doing for you. Don't drink it out of a dust boot. It tastes like trash. Mm. Alright, that was the end of mine. That was four beers down for me. 
There's still Once some left in the jug one. here. There's still plenty left from DB's first yeah. beer. Again, we got a split decision. Yeah, for me, I felt that all the good aspects of the beers canceled out the bad aspects of the beers. Uh, definitely very heavy to sit in your stomach, but then again, I did just drink like four beers in less than an hour. Um, that could have a lot to do with it. But I was expecting to be struggling. I thought that this was going to be extremely hard. It was going to be gross, but I, w I was surprised. It tasted pretty damn good. I'm not suggesting you try it because you might hurt yourselves, and I don't want to be responsible for that nonsense. But for me, I might try it again with different beers. See, Axel's got a, a gut. It's made of steel. He can drink everything. But like we say, beer or bust. You decide. You decide. Thanks, guys, for following us this first season. Uh, we really appreciate all the viewerships, all the likes, all the subscriptions. Um, stay tuned. Season 2 is coming soon, and we promise that we will always be upping our game and keeping exactly. it interesting and fresh for you guys. Oh, special episodes. There are special episodes and behind the scenes and episodes that weren't aired, so you'll be able to see those soon. Absolutely. Keep track. Stay focused. Beer bus. Until next time. <laughs> Until next season.